much. So you, you're almost ready for this match. It's I'm, showtime. I'm ready to beat you. Beat me. I'll get right to it. I ain't wasting no time. I've seen what you said. Now we're gonna get right into it. Mm. Sign on the dotted line, my man. Okay, okay. Putting some pressure on me. Man, look, you've had a lot to say over the past month. This is our first sit down together, huh? First one. You f***ed up. Big time. Real big, eh? Yeah. It's it's going to be a beautiful thing when we get over there. So I heard something about uh, the through the grapevine that you're trying to do a match with some stipulations. Yeah. So you, got? you call you call me out, right? I did. I picked the stakes. Let's it's going it's to be a boneyard match between me and you. So, what's that pertain to? Whoever wins, uh, the way you have to win is to place your opponent or throw your opponent or whatever doing to your opponent. Okay. In the water. That's what you want? Yes. Okay. So, you alright with that? Yeah, it sounds good. I'm down for that. Okay. I'm down to beat your ass, however. Love the humbleness. Absolutely. Confidence. Confidence. Confidence I'm losing. Oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you who I got problems with. I got problems with that the no good pieces of <laughs> El Guatemala, Elijah, GMA, you and King Bray. Me and King Bray, you could leave out of this. But the three stooges you just named, you got a problem with? No, I should be your only problem. You're too busy wrestling on trampolines and fighting the three stooges, which are Harry Dunn, Lloyd Christmas, and Napoleon Dynamite. Focus on me. That's what you do. You focus on me. Because I'm your issue. You don't beat me, you ain't ever getting back to the belt. Which, it doesn't look like that's going to happen for you. You're never getting back there. I intentionally took you out in that match with Brayden. King Bright. Well, I call him by my son, but to you, he's King Bright. I took you out because I wanted to face you. I wanted a real challenge. So, here we are. And uh, I'm going to tell you, if I beat you in this match... I want you to get the hell out of your mother's life. Stay out. There's no more of you, Ice Mike. None. You gotta get your f and go. Wow, a lot of hostility. A you lot. Have no idea. So, if you win, you gotta, well, you gotta make me get out. And get out of your guys' lives. I shouldn't have to. You should be man enough to walk. That's part of this match. Because you've been a thorn in my side for the longest. That's why I wanted to fight you. And I'm glad you put some stipulations down on how you want the match. Well, these are the results I want. For when I beat you. If. If. We shall see. And if I beat you. Which we all know is going to happen. This guy's a character. He's a real character. Yeah, I see you're not too humble yourself. Pure confidence, huh? You never wrestled me. Because I know. I know. Yeah, well, I wore this for you today. Just to show you the little 24 karat gold. It's going to be filled with your blood. Because I'm going to beat the piss out of you with it. I'm going to take you out fairly early. I, I don't even think you can make it five minutes into this match. I'm going to take you right out. Wax your ass all around Missouri's forest. Take you and just pitch you right in that stupid river. You're gone. 
Hopefully the fishes take you out from there. You ain't nothing. Nothing but a punk, a peasant, all the above. You're not ready for this. You're not. When it's time to get down, you're going to regret ever getting involved in this match. You know, this is the biggest mistake of your life. King Bray. <laughs> you think he's something. Who do you think made him as good as he is? Me. And then you want to whoop on him? I'm the only one that whoops him. And then you're going to say like your father should have? Well, I'm going to do that to you. And I might give you the same response. Let's talk about that real quick. Before I get into what happens if I win. Okay. Sure. Let's talk about how you slapped your kid. I'm very competitive. And there's no reason that he should have lost to you. you. Seem like a very much of a child's abuser. Hey, you know, you can feel how you feel. There's no losing in this family. It's unacceptable, and he knows that. He's lucky I don't take that belt off of him and bring it to Missouri and challenge you for that belt. You know what? Kind of sounds like an idea. I could fight. I got to talk to him about it, but I should bring the belt if he okays me to do it. And put it on the line against you. Put his belt on the line. That's how confident I am in beating you. I'll run it by him. I'll give him the respect. We'll see what's up with that. You think he will agree to, to that? Uh, I mean, he should, considering, you know, he should be very confident in me. His dad, I wouldn't give his belt up to somebody like you. I'll have to run it by him. I don't know where he's at right now, but... Even if not... You won't, like I said, you won't ever make it to get another title shot with him, so I'm actually trying to do you the favor. Well, if I win, if you lose, I'll be generous enough for when I have my match against the Beast Bryson, which is your son. Yeah, he's, he's a crappy one. Crappy one. Yeah. Sounds like a favoritism. He's just not a... He's, he, I don't like the way that he carries himself. Too goody two-shoes. Not for me. But he, he beat King Bray. Did he? Yeah. I don't think he could do that again. Was anything on the line? His belt. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, he's going to have to fix that. Yeah, that was a big upset. Big upset, but as I was saying... Yeah, before I was in the picture and back training him. Okay. As I was saying, when I win this title against the Beast Bryson, I will be generous enough to let you get a shot at it. You're the first one to get a shot at it. Okay, so if... Okay. If you lose that. And if I win. It. Okay. Sounds good to me. However you want to do it. You're only digging your own grave. You got it. So, you're okay with me doing that? Yeah. Give you another or give you another chance? Yeah, and let me just uh let you know. You made the biggest mistake of your life when you brought up my parents. You got the best of me coming now, buddy. That was your biggest mistake. You're lucky right now I don't come at you. But I'm waiting. I'm going to save this energy for when it's match time. Because that's pointless. Just going at you with nothing on the line. I'm going to give you the slow burn with this. Well, um... You, you talked about my dad first. It don't matter. You went too far. You know you did. Now it's personal. But you're saying that I'm jealous of your guys' relationship because my dad died. That's going too far. You heard what I said. You went too far. You know. Yeah, you know, I met your dad. And from the sounds of it, he just, he he was tired of your crap, man. He, he knew you weren't going to come out to be a successful champion. 
He knew that you would have to be the type of wrestler to cheat and cut corners to get your way to the top. And he wasn't that kind of person. He was ashamed of you. Wow. Yeah, him. Wow. Um, taking a rib at me, taking a little bit, like said said what you said in that promo. It's the truth. Well, I remember the first time my dad and you met, he busted your nose. Time's out. Yeah, he did. I was turned around, had my back to him, and he busted me on my face. But I held my own. I got respect for your dad. Yes, he busted my nose. He did. I can't deny it, but it was a, it was a pretty even fight, and after that we became friends. But yeah, your dad, he packed a punch. <laughs> a lot stronger than yours. Well, you've never been in a match with me. You... You take the shortcuts. I can tell already. No. I see right through you. No shortcuts with you. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just another day on the job. The job you just got. Uh, yeah. Well, you forced me into this. Well, um... I guess... I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, do you got the exact date this is going to happen? Or I think we'll announce it within the next day or two. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to figure this out because I'm heading over there tomorrow. And I heard you're going to be there shortly after around the same time. Got to get ready for this, man. Oh, trust me. You don't know what's in store for you. Biggest mistake of this guy's life, ladies and gentlemen. When his blood's all over this chain... Everyone just understand, I tried to keep it PG. I did. All the little kids are going to hate me after this. They're going to have nightmares. Of Ice Mike's blood running down his face. On his back. Just looking at the stars. Well, I'm sure the parents are going to hate you for this too. You know why? Why is that? Because you gave her, their kids chlamydia. Oh, we got jokes, huh? No, it ain't jokes. It's facts. No chlamydia over here. Really? I don't got that. And don't joke with me. See, this is what you did with my family, and now you're doing it with this. Everything's a joke to you, man. Everything's a joke. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, I'll see you there, man. There ain't no more to say. Thank you for coming out here. You got it. Once again, may the best man win. Oh, okay. See? Talk about a guy that cuts corners. I'll see you then. Lucky I don't take you out right now.